Tomorrow marks Transgender Remembrance Day and violent acts against this marginalized group do not appear to be headed in the right direction. KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum is live in our newsroom with that story all new at 5. Joel? Danielle, nationwide, the trend is clear. More transgender people are being murdered. The motives behind those murders are often murky, but certainly more transgender people are being killed in Houston to this year, and violence isn't the only problem. In Southeast Houston, a meeting for the marginalized. This might be the only safe space they have all week. OLTT is a Latinx transgender group with about 300 members, most navigating life a day at a time. And that hang-up, better known as discrimination, can get you more than just dirty looks. Because people don't see it as something normal. They will be like, oh, so you are a real man or you are a, guy, a girl that well, became a man? At least two transgender Houstonians have been murdered this year, and we've covered a number of assaults. Nationwide, murders of transgendered people increased 93% between 2017 and 2021. We don't know in every case if the victims were targeted because they're transgender. We're being attacked at so many fronts. It's hard to, to pick just one. But, you know, living in Texas is just, if it's not one thing, it's another. In February of this year, Governor Abbott instructed the Department of Family Protective Services to investigate gender-related surgeries for minors as child abuse. KPRC2 investigates, asked DFPS, how many cases they've actually tackled. Of 15 reports of abuse, 14 investigations have so far netted zero child removals from their families. Four cases remain open. You add up all of these extra obstacles for the transgender community, and it's no wonder they need support groups. So for me being here, it has like, I don't know, it has given me a purpose to be in this organization, you know, to like help more my community. I talked to quite a few members of the transgender community this week, and my impression is many of them are carrying a heavy burden, family problems, societal problems, dealing with violence. There's a lot there. On click2houston.com, we've put together some helpful resources. We're live in the newsroom, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.